gonna be delicious mm -hmm. and it's gonna fall off the bone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Jamaica restaurant can't touch me. Welcome back and today we are cooking with me and we have mommy Amor with us in the kitchen. She's going to be showing us how to do some oxtails and some rice and peas and some cabbage. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into it. Alright, so right now we already have a couple things that mommy prepped already. Go ahead and explain what we got. Well, we have our scallion, we have our thyme. We got a little bit of pimento because it's rice and peas and we also have fresh garlic. Everything we use in this rice and peas today is going to be fresh, okay? But today we're going a little simple way and we also have the red bean, okay? But today we're going a little simple way and we also have the red bean and this is the one from the can. So we're going to get our, our, our red bean and this is our coconut milk. So this bean is already cooked. So we're going to put the red bean into the pot with the coconut milk all our season bring them to a complete boil and then we can add our rice to our pot okay now we're gonna come over here bring that milk so this is the pot for the rice and peas and now we're gonna pour the peas into the pot we're gonna go ahead and pour the coconut milk that's the coconut milk we're gonna pour in the pot and we'll pour it out I don't cook with a lot of salt because the season already salty. So what we're gonna do now? This is our scallion and our thyme and our garlic, fresh garlic. Everything is fresh we're using today. So now I'm gonna put this in the pot. And after I put that in, I'm gonna put a little bit of complete seasoning. That's the complete season, okay? And then I'm gonna put a little bit in the pot. That's the complete season. And I'm gonna get a little salt. The salt is just for taste because a lot of salt is not good, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna put that in. So now we're gonna cover the pot and we're gonna bring this to a boil. After we bring that to a boil, then we're gonna get our rice, which is the parboiled rice. When you cook parboiled rice in rice and peas, it don't take a lot of rice because this rice swells a lot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna use our measurement and we're gonna use not too much, but look at that. That's what we're gonna use to cook. So this is our rice. We're gonna wait until the pot come to a complete boil the peas and everything in it and then we're going to wash our rice, put it in, turn our stove low and let it simmer until it's completely cooked. So we also got our Hennessy surprise drink. I'm going to insert a clip right here of me making You can run on it, you can put a hundred gun on it, anything I said I stand on it, in a private plane I land on it, Billy Wood and they call me bank on it. I walk around with the bank on me Shoot them gang, them style, put the gang on them Just my fingers up, I'm bang on them Lily woo, lily woo, lily woo Different type of evil, like yeah, Billy Boo And any one of them can kill you At any time, anything can happen, no Any one of us could have been pop smoke We must go Cheers, mommy Cheers, baby girl Cheers Oh, this is our rice so now guys, come on to the oxtail. Well guys, this is an oxtail, it's not too much. But we're gonna cook, okay? And first of all, I should use a little bit of vinegar to wash my oxtail. I don't have vinegar today, so what I'm gonna use is lemon juice. So I'm gonna pour a little lemon juice on the, my oxtail. And I'm gonna wash, okay? Because remember, when you buy stuff from the store, you need to wash everything first before you cook. That's safety, okay? So I'm gonna go to my sink. This water is cold water, okay? So I'm gonna add a little water to my lemon juice. I'm gonna wash my oxtail. This is the oxtail and it's completely clean. But guys, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna season the oxtail. I got a complete seasoning. I got 
fresh pimento, which I already crushed some to put in the oxtail. So this is a fresh pimento, and I'm going to sprinkle it on. Because when you cook and you're from the island, you like your food to have taste. Not bland, but tasty, okay? And now I got fresh thyme. And this is this is the thyme. So I'm gonna rinse the thyme off again. And I'm gonna put it in the oxtail. We got fresh scallion. This is scallion. I already washed the scallion, but let me wash it one more time. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna season this. You know, some people call with, it green onion. Yeah, they call it green onion, but in Jamaica we call it scallion. So it's not bad. So that's a scallion. I'm not gonna cut them too small. So that's what it is. Guys, we have onion. And this is onion, guys. I don't like to cut my onion too small anyway. I like to cut it a little bit bigger because when you cut it bigger and you cook, it don't melt away. You can see the onion in your oxtail. You probably get bigger and chunks, you get bigger more flavor. Chunks. You get, yeah, you get more flavor in it. Okay. And guys, we got the fresh garlic, okay? These are fresh garlic. This is red pepper, yellow pepper, and this green pepper. So, what we're gonna do, and I have the scotch bonnet here as well. So I'm gonna put a little scotch bonnet in this as well. Because when you eat, you wanna have a little taste of pepper in it. And a little spice in your life. Spice in your life! Mm -hmm. So I'm not gonna go put everything in it, but I'm gonna cut these up. And that's all we're gonna put in it today. And we've got the green pepper, red pepper here too. Can you say about half the green peppers mm -hmm. in? I'm not gonna put a lot in it because you don't wanna kill the oxtail with too much vegetable, you know. And then, this is what we're gonna do. And guys, I don't cook meat with salt. Remember, I don't cook meat with salt. So now, I'm gonna add some complete seasoning. You don't need a lot of seasoning in your food. I'm gonna add a little garlic powder. See, that's how I'm gonna do it. I got some browning. Open this one, listen. And also, guys, I got the obe. Obe is very good. Anything you use with obe seasoning, it carry good taste and it carry good flavor. So I'm gonna put a little obe on it. And remember, guys, no salt. And I got a little cayenne pepper. Remember, we like the taste and we like spice. So when it tastes and spice, it's good. So, we're gonna add some browning in this. And this is the browning. So, I'm gonna put a little bit. I'm not gonna put too much. So what we do now, we have all this seasoning in this pot. So now, normally, when you're from the island, you use your hand and you saute your food by rubbing it together. But today, I don't want to do that. I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to season this, okay? See? And guys, when I finish with this oxtail, this is going to taste so good. Look at that. You see? See, I season the oxtail. Normally, when you cook, in, we island people, we always cook, we season our meat overnight. We make it marinate and soak. And guys, remember, when you marinate your meat overnight, or you marinate it a couple days before you cook the meat, your food, you got a better flavor and you got a better taste. Because the season marinate into the meat, and it brings out the flavor in the oxtail. So right now, guys, this is a seasoned oxtail. And this is what it looked like now. And when this thing finish, we are gonna use the butter bean. Mm. And the butter bean gonna go in last. After everything finish cook, you put your seasoning, everything come down to a boil, the last thing you put in is your butter bean. Because you don't want your butter bean to cook out into the oxtail, so you put it in last. I'm gonna check back in a second to see how the oxtail is going. It, this is gonna be delicious. All right. Well, guys, this is the rice, and I washed the rice. 
Make sure the rice is nice and clean. And I'm going to wash it one more time. You see, rice carry a lot of starch, right? And when you wash the rice, you clean the starch out of the rice. So, now I got this rice washed. And the peas is there cooking. And now the peas come to a boil Start with the rice and with the coconut milk and the peas. And it's come to a boil, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour the rice in. And when you put the rice in the pot, we're going to turn the stove on low. Because you can't cook rice on high fire. When you put the rice on high fire, it cook too fast and it don't come out the right way. I'm going to cover this. And as I said, I'm going to turn the stove now on low. So I'm going to take it to number four. All right, so now we about to get into this cabbage. We about to see how it's about to go down. So let's go ahead, mommy. How we get into the cabbage? All right, baby girl. What you do when you're cooking cabbage, right? You can't cook curry cabbage. We're not gonna do curry cabbage today. So what, what we're gonna do? What kind of cabbage we doing? We just doing regular cabbage. So the cabbage is kind of a little bit big, and I can't handle it, so I cut it in two, right? So I'm gonna dice the cabbage. I got onion, and I got my Scallion. People here call it green onion, but I call it scallion. And all these are thyme and garlic and the uh, good sketch bonnet pepper. We got red pepper, we got yellow pepper, and we got green pepper. So after I finish dicing my cabbage, I'm gonna put it into this pot. Then when I put it in the pot, you put all the ingredients together plus your seasoning. I'm gonna put some complete seasoning, a little obey again, and then I'm gonna put some garlic powder. Guys, as I said, I don't cook with salt. What happened? I use a Caesar. Caesar's a little bit salty, so if you put salt in it, it's not gonna be too good. So what I do, I don't cook with salt because I can't handle salt. So, okay. guys, just watch. Guys, as you Whoop. see right now, I'm cutting the cabbage, see? I'm gonna cut the cabbage. I'm not gonna cut them too big. So you make sure you cut your cabbage in small pieces. And after I cut the cabbage, I'm going to make sure I cut up all my green pepper, red pepper, yellow pepper, onion, scallion, and I'm going to put everything in the pot. Alright, so mommy just threw her peppers in here. She just went ahead and seasoned it up. Um, she put the yellow pepper, the red pepper, the onion, a little green bit pepper. more um, scotch bonnet, green pepper, thyme, and seasoned up. So we looking like right here for our cabbage. Yes. Nice and Yes. Season and guys, I use a little complete season because this gives you your food a good flavor. Okay, so we'll put a little bit in it. We use a little bit of obey, not much. And remember, guys, as I tell you, I don't use salt in my food, and then we use a little garlic powder. So, this is it. And guys, remember when you cook cabbage, don't put water in your cabbage. The reason why you don't put water in your cabbage. The cabbage sweat its own water because we're gonna steam the cabbage. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in the cabbage. Look at this, it's just a little bit of oil. See, just a little bit of oil because we are not frying cabbage, we are steaming cabbage, okay? So what happened now, this is it. Now we're gonna put it on the stove and we're gonna cover this pot and let it steam for about 10 minutes because when you cook cabbage you don't want to have saggy cabbage you want your cabbage to have a little crunch in it and when it have a little crunch in it it tastes so good okay so we're gonna put this on the stove and come back when you cook your oxtail you want it to be like this nice and brown see and what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna take the oxtail. I'm gonna put it in a pressure cooker. Because remember, when you cook your oxtail, you want it to be nice and juicy and fall off the bone. Okay, so we're transferring the oxtail to the pressure cooker. The juice from the pot, look at that. Nice gravy. I'm gonna make sure I get all of it, okay? All of this gravy gonna go into the oxtail pot. So we're gonna pour all this in the pressure cooker. So how long do you gotta pressure cook the meat? We're gonna do probably 30 minutes. 
30 minutes in the pressure cooker. Right now, I'm gonna pour some water in it. Because remember, Melissa, you cannot cook in the pressure cooker without you have some water in it. So guys, this is the pressure cooker now. And I got an oxtail in it. So what we're gonna do, Melissa, we're gonna time it. What time is it? I'm set the timer. Yeah. All right, so now the pressure cooker is on the stove. The rice, as you see, it's 90% done. And this is the cabbage. So we're steaming the cabbage now. Remember guys, never put water in your cabbage. If you put water in your cabbage, it's gonna be saggy. You need to put a little bit of grease in the pot, cover your pot, and the cabbage steam is own water. So we got our meat in the pressure cooker, we got our rice cooking, and we have our vegetables still going, y'all. The rice is practically done. Just a couple more minutes. I've still got about 30 minutes left, and our cabbage we got about what, 20 minutes, 15 minutes? 10 minutes. 10 minutes on the cabbage. And as I say to you guys, cabbage don't take long. Look at that. Nothing, no water, nothing in the bottom of the pot. See? Because we don't use water to cook cabbage. And you steam the cabbage. And now the cabbage is fine out of that. Remember guys, you don't want to overcook the cabbage, okay? You want your cabbage to have a little crunch in it. And that's what we do. So the cabbage is done. And now we're waiting on the upstairs. The rice and peas. It's also final is finished. So the cabbage is done. So this is the cabbage. It's done. No water. Nothing. No grease. Nothing. We don't cook the grease. We don't cook the water. We just put a little oil in the pot to cut the cabbage. I transfer the oxtail from the pressure cooker. Now I put all the seasoning in the oxtail. It's nice and soft. So now this is gonna come to a boil. And after I come to a boil, we're gonna let it simmer down for a little while. And then, see, all the seasons is in it. So now what I'm gonna do, this is called the uh, butter bean. So this is the last thing I'm gonna put in it. After this is finally cooked, then I put the butter bean and it's simmer for like five minutes or so. And then it's done. All right. As you see, Melissa spinning around our oxtail. This oxtail is done. Well, we still have the butter bean. And I'm gonna open the butter bean now. Okay. And I choose bush butter bean because it has a more firm texture. And now I'm gonna dump it. I drain the water. And see, I dump the butter bean in the pot. And see, we're gonna stir it. And guys, that's the way you cook oxtail. See that, see that guy? You can cook your own oxtail now with your butter bean and you make sure it tastes nice and it's soft and juicy. And guys, if you don't have no teeth, you can still eat the oxtail. Look at that. It's so nice and juicy. So now we're gonna let it give it like five minutes to simmer with the butter bean. It smells so good, y'all. Oh I'm sorry. Yeah. And then after it simmer, I'm gonna plate it for Melissa. Melissa, I'm serving you today, okay? Yes! All right, guys. All right, y'all. So we are finally done. We are at the kitchen table, my favorite place. We're about to go ahead and get it in. Um, everything's done. We got our cabbage. We got our rice and peas and our oxtail. Nice and cooked. So we're going to go ahead and dive in with this meal. We already did our prayers. Try this first bite. Hmm. This cabbage is off the chain, girl. Who made this chicken? Who made it? Why? Who made it? Why? Because I love it! Yeah. Hmm. Mm hmm. This is so good. Oh my gosh. Four class, but I'm born Babylon, you know. Blood class. Blood class. <laughs> you can taste a little of the scotch bonnet pepper. It has that nice sweet taste to it, but it's still a little bit spicy, but it's good. It makes your food have a lot of flavor. I'm about to go ahead and 
stuff this down my throat, y'all. And go ahead and get in. And until next time, thanks for tuning in and cooking with me and my mommy. Till next time, y'all. I'm out. Jamaica Restaurant Country. <laughs>